Hello, Steve K2GOG here, uh, and today we are going to be demonstrating the Three Mosquitoes modular antenna mount system. Uh, it's a uh, small three-man operation based in uh, New Jersey, and I met them at the Split Rock Amateur Radio Club Hamfest this morning, and uh, because anyone who follows my channel knows I like things in orange. And uh, this is what caught my eye. So let me explain what the uh, antenna mount system consists of. Uh, it comes with a pair of ratchet mount straps. Let's see how that works. You pull it back over itself in an old tension. So it comes with two of those. It comes with, uh, in this case, this is the spike mount. They also make a drive over car tire mount as well as a trailer hitch, but uh, this is just the spike mount. And what uh, is unique about this is since it's modular, they basically just took a flange, a uh, three quarter inch, and uh, all the connecting pieces attached to it. So basically, you can get this piece, which is called the backstop. That's what you mount your antenna to, so you can get a backstop and the three different types of mounts or just the mounts that you want in my case i just wanted the spike one and so uh, that's basically what the kit is so i'll show you how this works uh, i've already jammed a hole into the ground with a hammer but uh, otherwise you just hammer this right in they say that you want to make sure that you take the flange mount and make sure the base plate is exactly flush with the ground uh, that's going to give it a nice sturdy base to work with so we have that in the ground and then all you do is take the backstop and thread it right in here actually you know what before i do that who is the three mosquitoes team let's find out so i met two of them a bunch of nice guys so here's the uh, three mosquitoes team and they have their call signs on here so there's matt um K2 ATC, uh, there's Lou, uh, K2 TAC, and uh, who they said is the brains of the operation, although I feel like all three of them are pretty handy guys. Then there's also K2 ECE. So the three of them uh, put this together, and they also have a number of other products on their website, such as uh, NFID wire antennas and a few other cool things that they're in uh, product development on. So this is how it works. You just screw that in. You can see this is really sturdy here. And so next, uh, and again, this is not part of the kit, but this is a 33 foot fiberglass telescoping pole made by Jack Height uh, with a few customizations, in case you're wondering. So uh, these I did myself. This is some uh, bungee cord, again, in orange. I shrink wrapped it and attached it to the top because I don't want to lose these black caps. So this is the top, and then I did something similar for the bottom, because again, I don't want to lose the caps if I need to unscrew them. So uh, that's what that is. And so we'll take the, um, the mast. What we're gonna, want, we're gonna want to do is pull out the top section, and then we can just extend this out bit by bit. Uh, that's what I find is the best way to deploy a mast. So you want to attach your antenna and then slowly uh, hoist this up. So before we do that, we'll just get this set up here. And let's go ahead and take some of the ratchet straps. I'm just going to pass them right over the top. Sorry about that. I'm doing this all with one hand, in case you didn't notice. So... We'll just thread the ratchet straps down past the backstop, like so. And we'll just give those a quick tension. And so even with one strap, I feel like this would hold, but two is always better. So we'll just give that the tension. Now, if you line these up, I've noticed uh, there's a little notch on the tensioner. And just kind of line that up with the the back angle here to uh, hold it nice and snug so there's the first one and then we got the second one and again i'm filming this with my smartphone because i didn't want to have to go back in and get my real camera 
So this is all with one hand. That's how easy this is. <laughs> so almost done. All right. So this is this is plenty sturdy. I'm wiggling in here. It's not going anywhere. So that's ready to go. And now all we have to do is just extend up the sections of the mast. Like this. Sorry if you're getting a little nauseous there, but again, one-handed operation here. Spared no expenses in the making of this video. So about halfway up. And what I'm doing for those that are not familiar with a uh, fiberglass pole is as you extend out the sections you have to give it a little twist so it uh, holds by friction so basically I'm just doing this one by one and uh, section by section sneaking this up so we got one more to go go there we go all right, so all of that uh, jostling around, let's see what we have here. So the bottom of this uh, pole is about four foot. The, uh, the three mosquitoes backstop, I think it's about 20 inches. That spike is a little over a foot. And so you can see I'm not using any guys. And it's, it's a tall one. So to support something like an NFED wire antenna, dipole, full wave loop, you know, whatever you want to use for portable operations. Uh, this is a pretty handy system. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up their drive over mounts, but uh, for now I figured let me experiment with the uh, spike. So there you have it. For about $50 between the two pieces, the backstop I think is 30 the spike is 20 and then they include the straps. Uh, so for about $50, uh, you have a pretty good sturdy mount. For a variety of uh, masts so there you have it easy handheld 33 foot tall mast you don't need a truck a trailer multiple people you can basically deploy this literally with one hand so there you have it if you have any questions drop some comments in the uh, chat below and again this is steve k2gog thanks for watching